Hey folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. In this video, I wanted to catch you up to date on our progress on the side of the house. So we've been talking about this big project using uh, the railroad ties again and making terraced steps along the side of the house to kind of go with the grade down to the back behind the house. And uh, Brian's been getting started on that. And so let's go catch up with him and see his progress. Um, it's a different take on the retaining wall. It's not quite a full wall, um, but it's a little bit more intricate because of the terracing. And another element that's complicating things, at least making it a little bit trickier, is Brian's wanting to also incorporate a stone wall. So in this video, we're gonna show you how he's terracing things out along the side of the house, incorporating the railroad ties, and also incorporating stone elements into the steps that are going into the terrace. So quite a, comp quite a complex project, and let's go check it out. Here it is, getting started on the terracing stairs. So let me look at it from this view. So uh, these posts you put in first. Yep, those are the hardest ones to put in. Because they're on a slope. Yeah. That was that was tricky. So, um, and over here. So those will have about two steps for each one. And we're going to have about five here or more. Oh. Because we've got to go from this level here to there. Okay. So we'll do that in a short Space and then it'll be flat to the next two stairs and then okay. flat two stairs flat two stairs okay so the very first level this is going to be the complicated part because it's got to have five steps in it right and this is a, be a stone wall right here from from up to here to about here oh and then stone this way okay is that yeah. stone that we're just collecting from around the property yep. okay the first thing you do, so you're just leveling it out to put your first tie in? Yeah, because the first one's going to sit on top of here, on top of this one here. So the piece is sticking out. Okay. It'll be about, I haven't measured yet, but maybe five ties here. Okay. Because so, this is the, this line is level with this here. Ah. Uh. First. Oh, look what you did there. Yeah. That was a, a difference in thickness, so. Mm. So you're going to stack up that whole section first yeah. before you, I see. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Now, I have to eventually, I think after I put the second one on, I got to start going that way. I have to kind of step it up a little bit because the slope is pretty steep, so I'm not going to make it to the next post. Uh-huh. Because it's probably 18 inches down, I'll be on the, I'll be on the cement of the post. Mm -hmm. so it'd probably be best to go up two and then go the third one mm -hmm. over a little bit. And then I can, because these are only six foot eight inches, so I can use the whole eight foot railroad tie to go all the way over yep. for the next, for number three. I think that'll work. Hmm. Yeah, I missed all that going up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put a piece on top here and it goes all the way across. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so I missed uh, the complete construction of this, but uh, this is where Brian left off earlier today. So um, the very ending, that's my understanding, is that where this uh, blunt end <laughs> ends here, um, it'll be a stone wall built out um, to here. 
wide stairs until here and then more stone wall continuing there to kind of hold in the dirt on the first terrace. And then uh, you can see how um, he added stone right there to, it's not a full tie all the way across right here. It's a shortened one because the full tie would have run into the cement on the post up there. So there was no way to do a full length railroad tie all the way to the post. So he had to graduate it up with stone. And it looked like he even inserted some native stone right there. All right, so he's going to want to put in the stone wall before he does any of that backfilling. So that's it? So this is stone. Mm -hmm. it's stone. Okay. Our ties. Okay. At, at every at every area where there's steps, there's stones on either side. Oh. There's stone wall on either side. How much is the stone going back though? The stone goes along the steps. Okay. So it's all the way back. Okay. So all the steps, it's all stone along here. Okay. In the middle. Middle. So it's on stone the on the sides, but dirt in the middle. Correct. Okay. Okay. okay no. Go build it. <laughs> We've been collecting rocks in this spot here for quite some time, so Brian knew he had a stash of rocks, large, right, large rocks. We got a lot of pieces to play with. Oh yeah, we got a lot of uh, pieces to play with. He says. Oh, here he comes with some more. I'm very curious to see how he's going to put this all together. One more. Got to do a little emergency pile right here. Some smaller rocks. Oh, there he goes. Is that the width of the stair that you're going for? Uh, it's going to go 30 inches. 30 inches? Mm. You get a tape measure. So you're thinking 30 inches across. Which is right to the end of the tape measure. Uh-huh. So it would be about 30 inches. Or the, the, like 30, 30, and 30. Okay. Pretty close. I'll set a rock here. Then I'll set a stair. Okay. And I'll set a rock, or however many rocks, and then build in this way and up at the same time. And then I'll backfill, like if this is one of the stairs, I'm going to backfill and compress so I can put the next step on top. How far back is the stair? Just the width of the yeah, tie? I, it might overlap the tie a little bit. The ties are nine inches, so I can overlap an inch. <laughs> That's a lot of rocks. There you go. Stand it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, quarter done. 25% 20, 20, done with one rock. Yeah. Like a triangular Good. shaped one here. Yeah, puzzle pieces fitting together. Yeah. Seems like a time consuming project. Yep. <laughs> yeah, do you feel good results though? Satisfaction results. Uh-huh.
to do there. Put a skinny rock facing that direction. And move on. Getting serious. You got the tractor out here. You got some lifting straps. <laughs> Making headway. Big rocks. Big rocks. Oh, I see. Yeah, at a certain point, you can't really lift them up. <laughs> view this section right here is the tallest section it's the only one that is six high and it's actually going to be much shorter than that on the way up so um, like you see we're trying to make it level with the bottom of the steel right there so that's why this one's five high this one is about only three high um, there was one little section of a tie and then some rock and gravel um, but you know, compensating for the graduation of the hill. Um, this next section right here is probably going to be maybe one to two high. So you just pack it in now? Yep. And we can wet it down. How is that a good spot, Vigo? Seriously? Well, folks, that is the progress so far on our terraced steps on the side of the house. So I know it's a very time consuming project when you add in the stone elements, but uh, Brian is determined and he's getting a lot of joy out of placing those stones. So I'm not going to steal his thunder there, <laughs> um, but it's definitely, they're definitely solid. And some of these things he had to move with the tractor. So um, they are definitely not moving, but, uh, guys, if you have any questions for us, uh, any other tips, uh, definitely drop us a line. We always love to hear from you and we'll see you next time with the next update and check out the progress on the wall. Bye. Mm -hmm.